going to take you, the viewer, on the ride of your life. You will be going on a dark ride adventure through the spooky and super exciting history of dark rides. Now you might ask what a dark ride is. I have an example of one for you right here to show you. No, no, that, that's wrong. <laughs> it's not a dark ride. Can I get someone who knows what they're, they're doing here? Seriously? All right, are we good to go? Thumbs up? All right. This is a dark ride. A dark ride is an indoor amusement ride that carries riders through animated, painted, or special effect created scenes. The ride is not always truly dark. It's through use of selective lighting that mechanical equipment used to create the ride can be concealed and more realistic atmospheres are thus created. The selective lighting used on the ride also helps direct the passenger's attention to certain scenes and attractions featured on the ride. Originally used in the 19th century, dark rides are popular throughout theme parks today and employ ever advancing methods of technology according to WiseGeek.com. The first dark rides were built in the 1800s and were called scenic railways. On these rides, passengers would board trains or small boats and be carried past a variety of lit, painted scenes or brief attractions that featured music and sound effects. These rides were typically either themed as haunted houses or romantic escapes and became popular throughout amusement parks and fairs. Sally Corporation, formerly known as the Great American Dark Ride Company, has been making dark rides and animatronics for amusement parks and museums for over 30 years. Some of the companies that they have made rides or animatronics for include Universal Studios, Six Flags, Disney, Hershey's Hershey Park, Ripley's Believe It or Not, and the MGM Grand Hotel. I had the opportunity to speak with the Vice President of the Design Department at Sally Corporation, Mr. Drew Hunter, and his colleague, Mr. Rich Hill, a designer at Sally Corporation on the dark ride topic. The first dark ride I went in on was in a tent at the Louisiana State Fair back in uh, 1957 or so. It's all black inside, and they had little boxes of various sizes with screen wire over them, and little faces would pop up. A brand name of some of these rides was Pretzel. That was the name of an actual company that made dark rides. Sold them all across the country. And it was called Pretzel because when you went in the ride, the track would, you know, do this, and do this, and go around. And people said, wow, that track looks like a pretzel. And in fact, on the side of their old ride cars, they had a big, heavy metal pretzel on the side of the cars that was not only as a symbolic of the name of the ride, but it also was a weight for the car that helped keep the car on the tracks. Just like E.T. found a home, so too will dark rides continue to find a home in our hearts. This is Amanda Rivera reporting for Demtech.org.